Hello everyone, today is going to be epic because it is once again the two hours to build and ride challenge. I haven't done one of these episodes now for over a year and this first started four years ago and we've done about four episodes since where we turn up at a spot and try and create a trail and ride it with only two hours to spare. So that's going to be the challenge for today. We're at this awesome location, it's very steep. We're going to start over there. Me and Louie are going to be digging and raking. Because it's quite low me, where most of the track will be done just by raking a line in, then we might dig a few little ruts for the berms. So we're gonna switch to GoPro for now, get as much of it built as possible, and shred it with only two hours. The swatch is telling me that it is two o'clock. We've got until 4 p.m. to get this challenge completed. So let's get that camera down, Louis, and get straight into building. Right, we have a rough idea of where we're gonna start already. This is gonna be our top point here then we're just going to literally come straight down the best thing to do first is to just mark out the route you want to take and we'll come back over it and prepare it properly so we'll come down here with a minimal amount of effort we'll be able to make a little kicker about here have a little look there again Blast in, cutty, keep the speed. Yeah, then we can go, what, a hip into here? Yeah. Then what do you think we should do, Louis? So I think from here, there's actually two options we can take. You can go that way on the right or to the left and then under that tree there. So I'm just gonna like rake out roughly both lines and then we'll have a look. All right, it's been about eight minutes now. We got in the first catch berm for my route. And then, obviously, Louis's got his option there. I think my version's a little bit more difficult to determine without riding first, but berm here, some sort of potential more catchy berm there. But then, I'm gonna go under this branch, which should be fun, and then possibly like move this out the way and go through this little tunnel of secretness so we're sort of getting carried away i've not even started at the top yet but i think it's better if we just make sure the bottom section is going to work as you can see i've got a catch berm there already so fastly made into here that's going to catch and we'll catch one out under them trees there and that should blast us around that section 15 minutes in now we've done quite a lot actually we've got it all laid out we're not going to spend too much time because it's such perfect loamy ground here the berms will make themselves more the more we ride it now louis let's check your section here then we're gonna need a catch berm for yours here yeah but then this bit can just be like loose couldn't it like yeah i was just... saying you could either have it flat or steepen it into a berm there kind of depends i reckon catch here <coughs> yeah and then that bit you just gotta fend for yourself yeah <laughs> i'll take this in quick yeah yeah we've got that berm now I'm going to leave this section loose and this is Louis's mystery line under this tree move this out the way and then into the abyss try not to handle bar whack the trees we'll leave that like that for now then yeah yeah let's go up there and try and make that little hip then cool let's get that built it's boiling actually boiling I'm just going to put the GoPro down in time warp again and you can see this lip take shape. Right, we've got a bit of a lip going here now. Just packing it down with the shoe because your, your shoe is smaller, my new ride concepts, because they're smaller than the spade, it can like pack it in a bit harder. So I'm just packing that as much as I can, then go back over it with the spade and you've got yourself a nice little dirt lip there. Let's go up here, Lou, and get this first berm sorted. We're gonna have this as a nice, tight sort of turn. This one actually almost doesn't need a berm. No. Nah. I'm gonna put a little bit of a catch there, but this top section, we can just make our own way into it. Cause then we might be able to like Scandi in the soft here, and then round. 
let's get that bit built. After a power session, it's been half an hour, look. You see that? Yeah. 30 minutes. We've actually got a full trail in. It's looking so sick. So sick, man. Right, there we go. With a bit of effort, we've made a full little trail there in 40 minutes. That is actually so sick, look. Here we go. So I'm just gonna get up there now, do a little cruise run down it to see what we've made, see if it all lines up. Then we'll get Louis on the go. Then we can quickly sort out anything that's wrong and then shred it hard. So pumped, this is so fun. Like, making something and shredding it straight away. Let's see how it is then. I'm nervous now, I hope it works straight away. Dropping. Oh, no, a bit wider. Oh. Oh. Wow, I missed a few of the berms there, but that's gonna be so sick. Right, have a go, Louis, and we'll just see, because I think that first berm's quite difficult to ride. Let's try my line. Oh my God, wow. Cool, that's quite scary, I like that. I actually found a pedal up here, just across from the finish of the tracks, but that one was quite cool. Quite um, scary in the frenzy zone to just do what you want. Lou, your mystery line looked well funny, just flying down, not knowing what's happening. But this first section is really what gives all the trouble. So I'm just gonna dig a bit of a catcher in here. That way, should be a bit nicer to come round here. Okay, that's better. Let's give that a lap then. See if this new catch is a bit better. Oh! Whoa! That is so good. I'm gonna cycle round now. We found the easy way up. Then I hit it again. Right, I forgot I was actually supposed to do your line, Louis. Whoa! <laughs> that mystery line, man. That's quite scary. <sighs> Back round again. Louis, your line's kind of sketch. Just straight wide open through a small gap there. Oh wait, there's more of a squad turned up, look. Do you boys want to hit this track? Oh, yeah. Cool, all right. We got more people joining in for the fun. All right, I've switched to the GoPro now. I'm gonna chase you down, Lou, yeah? Yep. Go on, Lou, get it. Dropping. Oh. Whoa! Firing. Yeah. I got a bit out of line on that top bit. It needs a little bit of work before that jump, yeah. just to make it perfect. It's only been an hour now, and we've basically got a cool trail running. Yeah. So we'll get back up there and give that a little dig, yeah? yeah. Nice! Yeah. Oh, Eve! Oh. Oh. That was incredible! Hopefully I can zoom in on that. That was, that was good. <laughs> nice one, mate. Good slammage. Now there's a few guys joining. If you're gonna join in, Stay socially distant and we can continue, yeah? Nice. All right, I've got to just fix this section here. Get a go on it, David, just so they can see it, because I'm going to dig this out so it's easier to get into the jump. <laughs> oh my God, that was so perfect. That's why I want to make that berm a bit better. <laughs> right, try that, someone. Here we go. Nice. You. Yeah, you are. Oh. oh, missing that berm there. Right, let me give it another go, Louis. Get these guys, see if they can survive it. <laughs> this bottom straight is so good. 
I'm gonna see if I can bar spin that hip now though. And into the lower section, it could be well good. Cool. Yeah. Oh, nice. All right, let's get this bar spin on that hip then. Oh, that's scary, man. No, I messed up. Win. Whoa. Yo. Sickness. Yo. Oh my god. No. My chain just snapped. I've got a push up now. We had such a good loop going. <sighs> okay, it's still gonna work because it's steep enough. That bar was well sketched though. <laughs> Perfect, got it though. Right, it's your turn, Louis. I'm gonna go to the bottom and film you smashing them berms in slow mo, yeah? Looking up, it'll be well good. Cool. <laughs> oh, knew that was gonna happen. Ow. Handlebar to the inner thigh. I try I tried to like overcorrect my wrong on that first bum. <laughs> that was cool. Hit it again then and I'll get that slow-mo I said about here. Yeah? Alright. Lube, that crash, man. And <laughs> you're firing on the slow mo there. That's so cool. Right, it is now 20 past three. We've got 40 minutes left of shredding. This is so cool. I'm going to do a quick chainless shred down there, try and smash some of them berms. And then I'm just going to dig a little bit in here because the berms are actually disappearing completely. Some of these kids are just straight lining it. So just shape it a bit. But let me get some little fire on the go now. Dropping. No chain. <laughs> that was using my pure body weight to keep me up there. I smashed through that then. We need to dig a little bit here. That's ridiculous. Let's see if this kid can shred. David, you guys, see how big you can go on that hip. We'll come up and get a quick shot. Ethan's in. Oh! Yes! Firing! Get it! Yo! Ooh! That's what your line's made for then, Louis. Sending. Oh, here we go. Oh! 180 out. So your line, Louis, is for the big jump there. That's well cool. Let's dig this a little bit then, quick. Perfect. <laughs> That's just a pure catcher. That berm's done now. Let's get up there and smash another quick lap of this. Right up the top again then, Lou, so you're gonna chase me down? Yeah, all right. Let's see if I don't get this spinny stuck in the tree. Oh yeah, I've got no chain. Cool. Drop it. <laughs> Woo! That's good with the catchies there. Uh. Wow! <laughs> yeah. That was well scary. On that almost die, we've we've got just under half an hour left now. <laughs> that was so close. What I want to do is cut a different section in. Yeah. Bye. I just want to change one of these berms so it comes further across and then round just for a bit of excitement. See if we can add that in in only half an hour. I'm going to change this berm now just so it comes all the way around here and just makes it a little bit more exciting. Right, I've dug that out with the rake. I just need to put a bit of work into the spade here. Right, we've got just under 20 minutes left. Change this section, it's going to be super difficult now. We've got to land that fully 90, blast into there, cutty the bottom bit. Let's get it to finish the two hours of build and ride challenge. Yeah! That section's definitely not as fast, but it's cool you can just change one little bit and we've almost made this section even longer now. Absolute dreams. <sighs> Love it. Right, Louis, we're nearing the end now, so I'm gonna follow you down there and then that'll be it, I think. Cool. Right, the locals get one chance each to complete it. 
Yes, completed. McGilly. Oh, firing his way down. Kick it out. Yeah. Oh, ooh, new line. The loudest local here. Oh, a little endo. Yeah. He's the ramming machine, almost killed me earlier. Yay! Right, come then, Lubes. I'll chase you down quick. Get it. Oh, yes! Whoa. Flying! That is good, actually. Yeah. Nice one. Sickness. Right, as these kids are here, I'm going to run up and do a final train in our last dying minute of this two hour challenge. Right, we're at the top now. Everyone's going to take their own line. Are you ready? Who's leading? Lobes. Okay, right. Here we go. When are you going to drop in then? Stop. Follow the guy behind Louie. <laughs> right. Go on then. Get it. Go, 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 go. Oh, Pat, no! <laughs> go, go, go. Organised chaos. Yes, nice one, that is sick. Would high five everyone but COVID. What a sash. Look at that, four o'clock. That little train then to finish off was well cool. We all went our different ways and that finished off the two hour to build and ride challenge. It's actually so sick if you just put a bit of effort in, you can make something rideable there for a little session in the woods. I know it wasn't a World Cup downhill track or a huge long trail, but we had a few berms in there, a jump. And imagine if there was like 10 of you digging, you could have a massive section built super fast and just have the best time ever. So I put it to you guys that you should get out there, have a go at the two hour to build and ride challenge and see what fun stuff you can come up with. If you want to see more of this two hours to build and ride challenge, let me know below. And you can also tell me what other fun stuff you think we should involve whilst doing the challenge. But on that bombshell, that is the end of the video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. That'd be awesome if you leave some comments and it'd be sick if you subscribe. See you in the next one. To the sky. <laughs>